how you can make the all-in-one system like I use in my trapping. It's coming up now. What's happening trappers? My name is Steve Taylor, the Pennsylvania Trapper. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and want to learn different trapping systems, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Questions, comments sent to me asking me about my all-in-one system. You can make your own. If you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, someplace like that, go back to where they sell their chain link fencing. This is, came in a 10 foot section of uh, tube post. It's inch and a quarter is what I'm using. Some fellows are using uh, exhaust pipe, which is two inches on diameter. But I found this to work out all right. You drill a half inch hole back on either end and so forth, about an inch from the edge. LT Gray uh, in Ohio was uh, one who uh, came up with this. And I have used, made my own and called mine the all-in-one system. But you use smooth half-inch rod. I make mine 30 inches in length if I'm going to use it as my trap stake to hold this trap. That half-inch rod, I just uh, grind a little taper on the end, and that's the end that goes through the uh, tubing and then if you have your own welder you can do it or take it to somebody at welds have them weld around the top and around the bottom because it's going to take a lot of abuse when you're pounding this in the ground so I've welded had mine welded both top and bottom on them the neat thing about my all-in-one system is you can put your lure and your bait in here it can rain, snow, whatever. It's protected. I have, when I put, uh, use this to uh, stake my trap, I have my trap with about 18 inches of chain. Then I use a five foot section of chain attached to the trap. And then I slide it over the smooth rod. The reason smooth, do not use rebar. I repeat, do not use rebar. The rebar has the little notches on for the concrete to grab a hold of. So is the chain. So you catch a fox or a coyote and they start pumping that, they can pull that stake out. On this smooth rod, that just slides up and down there. There's nothing for it to grab a hold of. I pound this into where this is about 8 inches above the ground have no problems holding the coyote, fox, coon, whatever. In for bobcat and fisher trapping, I have my stake is not as long because I'm not uh, staking the trap using the all-in-one system. I use it to hold my lure and the bait is put in my cubby set. Plus, I use cables to attach to the trap chain and then wrap the cable around a tree that's close by where I have my set. I treated my all-in-one system the same as I did my traps. I dipped them into uh, my paint mix of Rust-Oleum and Acetone, then dipped them into the full metal jacket. As far as your chain, you have a swivel on the end, it slides over the smooth rod, slides up and down, there's nothing for it to catch on, so that's the reason you don't use rebar. The other thing with this all-in-one system is you're using five feet of chain along with about a foot and a half of chain on the trap. So your animal actually can't jump straight up in the air six feet. So that's the reason the all-in-one system works. 
If you want to see more about the all-in-one system, click on the YouTube card here. And if you want to learn more on trapping systems and trapping tips, start now by hitting the round subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>